parable. He gave them an example, and they said, now, Lord, you know, I might not be the sharpest knife in the drawer. I'm not the dullest either, but I need you to break this down. And you know, Jesus didn't say, well, you're there. Die at the first time. <laughs> what did he do? He went right back. Yes. And he began to talk to them. The 18th verse of, of the scripture says, Take heed, therefore, how you be here. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. And whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he seemed to have. What that means is that when you have the knowledge of God, the truth of God, if you can receive it and you understand it, he's going to give you more. Yeah. But if you don't get it, what you thought you had, you lose it. Amen. 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 You've got to understand what the Lord is trying to say to you. And so he began to break it down in the 12th verse. Hallelujah. In the 12th verse of Luke, the same chapter, 8th chapter, he says, Those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil, and take away the word out of their hearts, lest they shall believe and be saved. What that means, you're going to have some folk that come to church. Come on. They don't hear the word, but they have no intentions of changing who they are. Come on. Come on. I'm going to come. I'm going to say, amen, yeah. but don't ask me to change my life. Amen. Yes. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Don't ask me to live right. Don't ask me to put down those hands. Come on now. Don't ask me to make a difference. Come on now. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They are the peace. When the, when the word comes, it goes in one ear and out the other. Yeah, come and on. Nothing sticking in here. Yeah. Right. Amen. They are the careless here. Careless. I don't care how good it is. I don't care how powerful the word is. I don't care. Come on. What the pastor said, yeah. or the word of God said, <laughs> all I care about is getting the good feeling. Yes, come on. Man. Like in here, Jesus. I'm getting the residue yes. of the blessing. Yes. Come on, yeah. And it makes me feel good. Come on. At the moment, yes. but I can care less about living right.
care less. Praise the Lord. Keep hearing. And then Luke 8 and 13 says, They on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word of joy. Yes. And these have no roots, uh -oh. which for a while believe. And in time of temptation, fall away. Right. Sister Peggy may have not 
I do understand that he's a he's a deliverer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do understand that he can do all things but mm -hmm. fail. Mm -hmm. I do know that, but you know, I got some stuff over here though mm -hmm. that I need to take care of myself. Come mm -hmm. on. And after a while, we don't forget about the Lord. We get so caught up in, 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 in ourselves, in, 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 in what we think. You know, he said, seek me first. And my righteousness. And then that, all that other stuff, the end. We don't want to wait for that. We want to seek ye first. Whatever I want, whatever pleases me, whatever takes care of Cynthia, and, and, and whatever makes Cynthia feel good, and whatever makes Cynthia feel like she's a, 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 a here when she really is here. But you know, whatever deals with my flesh, that's what I want to see first. And then him and his righteousness come secondary. You talking. Ooh. I can't let go of the things that I want to hold on to. I could let go. And I should let go. And sometimes even I want to let go. But I want to have that too. You can't serve two masters. You either go love one and or hate the other. He said, if you look warm, if you're not, if if you you either hot or cold, if you look warm, you make me sick. That's the word. I don't want to make God sick. Because he said, if you make me sick on my stomach. Yeah. I don't know what they call it. They call 
call it research by the time. What they call it now? We everything. Oh, we know. What do we know? Take his word. 
word seriously. That's right. And see, when you stop thinking about myself, yes, come on now. What? And let me tell you something. Just because people come to church, that's right. Come on. Just because they got a testimony. That's right. Yes. Just because yes. they can speak in tongues. Mm. Right. Just because they fall out. Yep. Come on. Just oh. because they oh. talk a lot. Yeah. Just because they quote the scripture. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just because they can pray a prayer. Yeah. Come on. Doesn't mean they are delivered. Right. You gotta stop looking at people. Yes. If you look at people and the whole thing, you've never witnessed for the Lord. Right. If you if you look at folk that you thought you could depend on, to those are the ones that hurt you the most. Those that you thought you could depend on, and you put your trust in them, you put your faith in them, and then they do something and it tears you apart. But let me tell you, you don't need to put your faith in man or woman. You need to put your faith in God because He is the one. Come on. The word. The word. You got to be serious about this thing. Come on. When you are out there in the world, when you are out there in the world, you went to the club. Hey! Everybody knew you were there. Come on. Get a few, get get a few glasses of shots and stuff in you. And but what you already had before you came in, everybody knew you were in the place.
works for Come on. then you will get a feeling. But if you're just here for an F-E-E-L-I-N-G, then you'll never be filled with the Word of God. Amen. So it's how you apply that Amen. the way Pastor Gray gave Come us. On and now. that is, just like speaking, fundamental principle in being made in the image of our Creator, you Come have on. to open up your mouth. Your faith is voice activated. Well, just like you turn that knob on your oven, you can stand there and look at it and, hmm, a bell is not a bell until it's rung. A song is not a song until it's sung. I got this hymn on. He put all these words in it, pulled it up to the microphone, and watch what happens without your voice. So in this going away, oh, and when you hear about the devil, if you let him ride, he want to do what? of this word that penetrated our armor. If you had your shield of faith up, it's something that Pastor Grace said today. It went right through that shield, right through the breastplate, and got inside of your soul. Thank the night, Jimmy, don't smile on me, Lord, sweetheart. I soaked them all in, but it was like, because <sighs> a lot of times, thanks to God, when you're in the fight, when it comes from someone else and you were going to do it, and it's like, oh, Lord, thank you for the you know, because Christians sometimes have combative behavior. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We say we're giants in church and we go out there and say meow, but sometimes it's the other way. Let it be the pastor, let it be the shepherdess or the bride of Christ, and you walk your toe, teach them what? You know, and say, whoa, wait a minute. Every step is a loss of salvation. We have to be able to check ourselves and apply the word of God. Because, you know, we're, up, we're targets of opportunity. You're Christian. But remember, you're self-contained and self-sustained, and you're not fed by secular streams. And in each and every instance, she will know when you are fed by a secular stream. Yeah. The devil who's empowering me is that ain't what the word says. That ain't what the word says. That's right. But as she's taking you on, she was like, okay, it's all twisted around. So God bless you, Pastor Cynthia. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Cynthia. That means it was better than good. It was great. It caused motivation. What is motivation? Move on to dominant thoughts. Because we have to be able to take up dominant thoughts when it comes to this Bible. Thank you, Jesus. Not fake it until you make it, but faith, as in Hebrews 11, or faith it until you make it. Yes. Endure until you mature. Yeah. Right here. So this is the life within. Right here. And remember, sin just wants dominion for you. Free. All this for me. And I ain't got to pay nothing. Well, about four months for that. I do have to sponsor it all over right now. Just come on in. Just come on in. Ooh. I ain't got to do nothing. All that. Come you know, on. The content's over 32 ounces. Wow, it says 64 ounces. Yeah, it's all yours. Free. <laughs> that's where the dominion comes in. Yes. We yes. talked about the debt of sin, the defilement of sin, and Thank the dominion of sin. And it gets you. And like a boa constrictor, when they get you over there, Little kids walk around with machetes in those countries. Oh, my gosh. You know, sure so mom and daddy, when they go out to play, the little kids got machetes. So that thing won't get the grip on them. Because when it does, mom and daddy find their kids inside of the boar constrictor hole. Yes. That's the devil. So all of us are armed. We fight our battles on our knees with prayer. Amen. The sword of the Amen. spirit. Yes. The sword Come of the spirit. On. Come the on. word of God allows you to go yeah. on the offensive. Those Come other sides, the helmet, the belt, the shoes, yeah. that's for defending yourself. Come on now. So, thank you for what you said, Pastor yeah. Greg, and the way that you said it. Yes, yeah. amen. But Lord, 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 I'm here to tell you, you're yeah, still going to be a target of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> but she's on. one that fights for battles on her knees. You know, for the fire, I said, thank you for drying my wood when it was uh, sloppy wet, because it was. So from coming from an, an extinguishing spirit, remember saying to God, this morning, day you're coming down off the mountaintop high. What is awaiting you when you leave this church? An extinguishing spirit. Tell them I don't receive it. That's I right. Amen. Thought that you brought with the word and the honesty, Woo. you know, because 
It is the sanitization, purity, free from contamination when we come in and we let go and we let God. And Pastor reminds us the things that we do over and over when we know better and don't do better is insanity. We have to get out this sin insanity because it will keep you shackled. God bless you, Pastor. Love is about accepting, respecting, helping, and forgiving. And when you get through forgiving, we go right back to accepting. And sometimes it hurts. Yeah, I'll say, what is that? Ouch, hallelujah, you say. <laughs> but if you can open up your mouth and say that, you're giving credence. <laughs> Can't get through me. <laughs> then God's going to find a way. Thank you, Lord. Let go and let who? God. And when we let go, we grow. Amen. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect in entire wanting nothing, no thing hyphenated. But if you don't let go, then Mark 11 and 22, the last four words, have faith in God. So you won't get shackled and wobbly. And if you do, then you just compose yourself with the word. God bless you. Amen. As we prepare for this transition. I would ask that you would grab your Bibles and the officials to do what they need to do. First Corinthians chapter 11. We'll pick up at verse 23. First Corinthians chapter 11. We'll pick up at verse 23 to see officials prepare the church for Holy Communion. This is the moment in coming from the essence of pastor word, pastor's word. Come on. No homage to the link he can have again. 